Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to create a password protected file in SharePoint. First, we'll enable the option to send links to anyone. Then we'll add a password to a SharePoint file. If you want to password protect a file in SharePoint, you'll need to select anyone as the link sharing option. If the option to send links to anyone is grayed out, then you'll need to access the SharePoint Admin Center to resolve the problem. Start by clicking the App Launcher in the top left of SharePoint, then select Admin from the drop-down. In the Admin Center, click the menu icon in the top left. Then go down and click Show All. And then select SharePoint from the list of Admin Centers. In the SharePoint Admin Center, go to Active Sites on the left. Now click the circular button to select the site containing the file you want to password protect. Then click Sharing at the top, or click the three dots and select Sharing. In the Flyout pane, select anyone under External Sharing. Then hit the Save button. If the option to send links to anyone is still grayed out, it's because there's an overriding sharing policy that has disabled it. To fix that, close the Flyout pane and click Policies in the left menu. Then select Sharing from the Revealed option. There, drag the SharePoint permission up to anyone at the top. You can now select anyone as the default sharing option if you'd prefer. Then go down and hit the Save button. Now that sharing with anyone is enabled, head back to SharePoint and select the site where your file's located. Go to Documents on the left. Then locate the file and click the Share icon next to it. In the pop-up box, click the pen icon on the right. Then select Sharing Settings from the drop-down. Next, ensure that anyone is selected. Then enter a password at the bottom. When you're finished, go down and hit Apply. You can now copy the link and send it to whoever you like. And when they click the link, they'll be redirected to a page where they can enter a password to access the file. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources and leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.